Now, they are said to be able to cross galaxies, but people who believe they are out there want to know why aliens want to visit Earth. A group of former U.S. servicemen is convinced extraterrestrials are interfering with nuclear weapons. As RT Cedric Moon explains. Perhaps few things say normal or routine. More than a daily dose of coffee, a cup of calm, and what can on any day be out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary, like a nuclear holocaust out of the ordinary. Let's say there's an attack from where doesn't matter. It could be North Korea, Iran, Pakistan. If that were to happen, nuclear payback wouldn't happen. That's a claim made by the men in this room. Uh, our missiles began going into what's called a no-go condition or unlaunchable. Essentially, they were disabled. Detailed in this report, full of court-sanctioned sworn affidavits. The witnesses have described these craft as disc-shaped or cylindrical-shaped or spherical. If you think what's being said inside this building is completely ridiculous, you might want to consider something. My name's Robert Hastings. Thank you for coming. These are men who might know what may have gone on. They're former Air Force missile launch officers, missile base officers, who say UFO spaceships flying saucers make nuclear weapon systems go haywire. In 1966, according to a launch officer, David Shore, his missiles were temporarily activated just as his security guard was reporting a bright object moving from missile to missile to missile. Ten, nine, eight. And it's not seven, just in the United States. Five, also, four, three, three, in Russia. Two, one. Like a 1982 incident that happened in then Soviet Ukraine. Given the fact that these incidents have gone on over there, including one incident of their missiles being temporarily activated when a UFO was hovering above the missile base, identical to what occurred here. I think we can rule out that who, whoever are piloting these craft are either American or Russian. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe there's no way to ever know. But if they are right, and an out of the ordinary day is about to unfold, remember the saucers. Cedric Moon, RT, Washington, D.C.